the men's middleweight category, 75 kilograms. <laughs> So these neighboring Central Asian nations, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, squaring off in the boxing ring once again. The man wearing red is ranked number 29 in the world, Fanat Kakramanov from Samarkand in Uzbekistan. The South Pole wearing blue has just taken a hard right hand to the body and we're getting right here. An idea as to what type of contest this may be because both of them are incredibly tough, possess heavy hands and content to stand in the pocket and let go big punches. The man in blue, Abul Khan Amankul, 22 years of age from Kazakhstan. And again, global hardware in the form of a world championship silver medal in the 2017 edition of the event in Hamburg. En route, he beat the Olympic champion Arlen Lopez at the quarterfinal stage on a 3-2 split. Dig that fight out, could have gone either way, but again, it just shows you that he is not overawed by the reputation or skill set of whomever he is facing. Very good boxer. And this top 30 matchup, plenty of added spice given the geographical location of the Central Asian nation. Oh. <laughs> Left hand, right hand landed by Kak Ramanov as he targets the body with his favored left hook once again. Good left hook to the body as well. Right after that. The cries of Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan once more. Again, very look at that for a three punch combination straight through the guard, but the left cross over the top from Kak Ramanov. Triggering off that exchange was Amanko with three terrifically straight punches. And there's a right jab again between the high-held hands of the man in red. Flat-footed, oh. standing in front from both boxers, and they are really getting some leverage onto their shots. Two minutes gone in the opening round. Both men unloading with some heavy artillery there. <laughs> Kak Ramanov just able to pull back there in time as that right hook went whistling past his face. A good right hook to the body from Kak Ramanov. And this is how he's boxed in his previous two contests to date. He's showing more volume here than we've seen previously, Alex, because generally yes. he's content to let... Whoa, that's a good right jab landed by a man call. But generally he's content to let one heavy shot go and then admire his work and set up the next one. But here he's throwing punches in bunches, but he's being picked off by a man call. Good work to the nice. body from the man in blue. And now he's proffering a low-held guard, but as the man in red comes into punching range, the ear must have put on once again. 
Spins off the line after that last right hook again. He's in great shape as well. The man in blue. Well, that check right hand sending Kakraman off to the floor. It was landed right on the belt. And again, there may have been a tangle of legs involved, but he seemed to be cuffed to the canvas. No knockdown. But what an opening round. My oh. goodness. Some of the action from that first round. Both boxers landing plenty of heavy shots. And neither really looking to back up at any point as well. If there was a miss or a little bit overreaching, the other fighter came straight back through. And it's 10-9 to four judges in favour of Aman Kul and only one to Kak Ramanov. Make no mistake, it was a very hard fought first round. But some clean punch picking from Aman Kul, both to body and head, tilting the verdict in his favor by a 4 1 margin. Into the second round we go. And the Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, took middleweight Olympic silver back in Athens 2004. Uzbekistan have got Bektomir Melikuziev. Oh, that's a hard left hand to the body again from Aman Kul, then a right jab upstairs. But Bektomir Melikuziev was only denied top spot on the podium by the brilliant Arlen Lopez of Cuba four years ago. So both of these nations with terrific tradition. Remember, they were part of the Soviet Union for so long as Amankul comes through the middle with uppercut success. Oh, good baller shot there from Amankul off the jab. What that left uppercut right under the right elbow of Kak Ramanov. And his class just beginning to give him an edge now. Kak Ramanov still possessing big punches in both hands. But the ring generalship of a man called without being up on his toes and using the space of the ring, but content to engage in short and mid-range exchanges. Well, he's just tilting this one in his favor. There's a good straight left to the body from the man in red. But good. look at that nice. left uppercut through the middle from a man called nice left cross over the top from Kak Ramanov. Oh, the chin is down, the hands are round the cheeks. He's just looking to press forward and get his heavier shots off. Yep, every now and then he does sway back to just regroup, maybe reassess everything that he's doing. But at this point in time, he's looking like the man in control, Ronald. In either stance, orthodox or southpaw, a man caught willing to meet the heavy-handed Kak Ramanov head-on and beat him in his own preferred territory. Kak Ramanov letting two shots go on the command of stop. Stealing a glance to his red corner is Kak Ramanov. He'll know that there's a minute left, but he perhaps just got some additional instruction there in a bid to try and solve this puzzle of the man who is remaining directly in front of him. But look at that for head movement. Good work to the body, oh, left hand nice. to the body. Then a right uppercut, then a left uppercut, and then shot oh. through the middle and around the corner. What a period oh. of success, and a left cross puts Kak Ramanov on unsteady legs and he was forced to back up and we haven't seen that yet here at Amman 2020. Hard shots being dug into the body and Kak Ramanov may have still been buzzed by that Whoa. combination from the man in blue. If there was a count there, Ronald, you would not be surprised, would you? Terrific work from Aman Kul. And again, in what is a competitive round, look at Kak Ramanov, he's still not recovered. Legs still uncertain, he's heard the 10 second clapper yeah. and disengages just to make it back to the corner. This 60 second interval cannot come soon enough for the man in red. What a round from Amankul. Just fantastic, wasn't it? Brilliant stuff. And he eased his way into that round before he started detonating some massive shots. Did mix his shots up pretty well as well, but it wasn't until he started seeing gaps in Kak Ramanov's defense that he started to chop in some nasty, powerful shots. 10-9 across the board. So it is all square for judge one, 19 points apiece. The other four judges, two through five, have this man up 20 points to 18. And he has a whole bunch of momentum behind him after a dominant conclusion to the second round.
Well, just look at all these non-verbal signs. Kakramanov will know more than anybody that he had a tough conclusion to the second, but he was up off his stool, ready to re-engage for this third and showing Amankor that I'm still here and you're going to have to beat me good to get through to Tokyo 2020. And all those non-verbal signs so important, showing that he's still up for it and full of fight in this third and final round. But the man in blue just looks so much physically stronger now. And he will know that that perhaps is the game of Kodology because he's come out with the same impassive expression and he's looking to set about his man. And I'm still not sure that Kak Ramanov has recovered from those arcing right hooks that crashed around his temple. There's a left cross through the middle and look at how languid the punch output of Kak Ramanov has become. Looks to his corner once again. But they can't help him now. He knows that more than anybody trying to target the body. But he's being beaten to the punch oh, consistently here. He's not even breathing, Ronald. The man in blue. Good job. Right jab and look at how it backs up Kak Ramanov. Oh. His reserves are being depleted by nice. these accurate, hurtful punches. And now he's fainting. And yeah. look at that. Kak Ramanov being reduced to swinging and missing. Stumbling around the boxing ring on unsteady pins. Kak Ramanov, well, he's in desperate moments for him. Aman Kul targets the body. And each one of these punches just depleting the energy levels of Kak Ramanov further. Yeah, and his, fa his face has given away the signs there, Ronald, as well. Looks to the corner for a little bit of inspiration. These are really solid shots being sunk in by yeah. Aman Kul. Turned southpaw. Good right hand to the body from Kak Ramanov. Oof. His best success of the third round. But look at the price he has to pay. Kak Ramanov's face now is the same colour as his vest. He looks so red and flustered and marked up. Big swing and a miss again from Kak Ramanov. He knows that this one is slipping away from him. And remember, he is keen to avoid the two-bout box-off scenario. But Amanko, no drop in the quality of his work. Such a hard worker as well. He's never really relented for a second. Good success for Kak Ramanov. Been in a contest. Oh, that's a oh. cracking right uppercut. And he's put the man on unsteady legs once oh, again. And he's been forced to well. back up. Left cross comes over. Kak Ramanov, full of fighting spirit. Good right to the body from him. Turned into an uppercut. Right hook around the corner from Amanko. And Kak Ramanov, you have to admire this man's conditioning and his competitive spirit because he is hanging in there, still looking for the finishing shot. But from the closing stages of round number two, oh. this has been turned into practically one-way traffic. Yep, sure has. Abel Khanna Mankul wow. with a terrific hard-punching display. Oh, and doesn't face. the face of Fanat Kakramanov betray that? He knows that he has just been in with a tremendously accurate, hard-hitting operator. And he also knows that it's not his night here tonight at the Prince Hamza Hall in Amman, Jordan. In stark contrast, Amankul's chest barely moving. No emotion visible on his face, but he knows that he is going through to his first Olympic Games and doing so in pretty dominant fashion. Banat Kakramanov will enter the box-off scenario and after engaging in a hard contest like that, if he hopes to go to Tokyo, he's got to find two more wins. And the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner from Kazakhstan.